Welcome to the tour video of the Project Manager Excel template version 2 from Inzara.com. In this video, we are going to take a walkthrough of all the sheets in this Excel template one by one. Before we get into that, I want to just give you an overview of what the template is built for. The purpose of this template is to plan and manage a project effectively and efficiently from start to finish. It takes the scope of work as input and then builds out the schedule for us. And then it also will handle cost management and resource management all within one workbook. The automatic scheduling is a key component of this template. It takes as input the resource availability, vacation, overtime, company holidays, and also details about the task, num the list of tasks, the work that is required for each task, and which resource is going to work on which task, and then are there any external constraints on beginning of a task, and also any predecessors. It takes into account these as input, and then it goes through our scheduling engine logic inside the template, and it'll build out the schedule, who works for how many hours on what task on a given day. And this acts as the foundation for all the calculations and reporting that is built into this template. Now, the features included in the template are many. So instead of going through this list of all features, it's, it'll be better for this video to actually go and take a look at the template itself. So let's get started. So this is the template where I have filled in some sample data so that we can see how the template looks when it's filled with data. And we are in the documentation sheet, which is where we will have the list of overview of instructions to how to use the template. Uh, I would strongly recommend that you visit the support page for any help needed about this template. There will be a lot of articles posted about how to use this template on the support page. The documentation sheet also has all the definitions of terms used in this template. There is a lot of calculations involved. So I want to make sure that it's all very clear what the calculations mean. The next sheet is the setting sheet, which is where we enter the basic information about the project, the period of the project, list of resources that we can enter. The template can handle 30 resources. And then the list of holidays that we have in our company for the project period and any overtime or vacation that our resources might be taking during the project period. And this is used for baselining or creating the baseline plan. After the baseline plan, plan is locked, if any overtime or vacation days are taken, then you can enter that in this little table. Now, the unit of planning in the template is number of hours. So you can enter everything in number of hours of work. The task sheet is where we will enter the list of our tasks. We can support up to 150 tasks and each task has some required information and some optional information. This is where we would enter that. Actual sheet is the last of the data entry sheets. This is where we track the actual work that is performed on the project. Who performed um, how many hours of work on what task and on what date. All of this is entered in this one little table. And these are the three sheets of data entry by the user. All these other sheets, which are tabs are in green color, they are all calculated, fully ready to go for you. And they're also very interactive. So the data input is very, very minimal compared to the amount of automatic reports. So let's go to the first one project report. Just this is the overview of the project. It provides you a baseline plan and a current plan. And you can type in, okay, I want to see the project status as of March 1st, then everything gets updated. And if you say March 2nd, you know, it can get updated instantly. So this is where the plans can be viewed from the top and they can be compared against the current plan can be compared against the baseline plan. You will have also have data on actual progress that has been made, what percentage of the project is complete. You have a burn down chart uh, for the number of hours and you have a cost management information around cost performance index, earned value, plan value and such. Um, you have resource utilization rate. So all the details are here at the project level. The Gantt chart sheet is where 
where we can visually see the project timeline. And this is a very customizable Gantt chart where you can change from daily to weekly to monthly, and you can change the view, whether you want to see only the baseline plan, whether you want to see the current plan, whether you want to see actual work performed, um, and then the current plan versus baseline. So all of these details are available to you. Uh, and uh, you can definitely type in any start date. So let's say I want to see the project from February 18th. And even though the project actually work begins only on March 1st, I will still be able to see the Gantt chart for the specific start date. And holidays, weekends, and status dates are highlighted on the Gantt chart itself. And you have the list of tasks here. You will see 30 tasks at a time. So here we only have entered seven tasks in the sample data. You can scroll through by typing in a new number here to see a list of next 30 tasks. And the number of periods shown in the Gantt chart is 52. So you, if you put in a weekly Gantt chart, you can see all the entire year with 52 weeks here. The task report is where you will see detailed information about each task. The template can handle up to 150 tasks and you will see all the details for every one of those tasks. And it's also interactive. So you can basically go and say, hey, tell me only the task which will complete by the date that I preferred. Or in this case, tell me which tasks are behind schedule, uh, which is comparison between the current plan versus baseline, which ones are behind schedule. So I can just select that and I will see only those tasks. So this is how easy it is to get a complete understanding of where we are at the task level. The, this report also has actual tracking. So what percentage of the current plan is complete and a lot more. So now the task schedule is what you will look for when you want to know specific number of work, hours of work that is scheduled to be done for any given task. So for example, for task one, which is assigned to resource one, the number of hours that of work that needs to be done is shown here for the next seven days. On March 1st, one hour of work will be done March 2nd, March 3rd, 7. So this is basically the, um, the current plan in number of hours for each task. And this can be used to plan your actual work within your team. The resource availability this is the baseline availability of number of hours for each resource for each day before any work has been assigned to them. The resource report is also interactive. This lists all the 30 resources with all their metrics around number of hours they were available, number of hours scheduled, utilization rate, cost, and this is available for baseline, current, and actual. There is also a threshold that you can type in for utilization rate. For example, let's say I want to know, you know, resources that are below 20%. So then you type in this and then any task, any resource that um, has not reached 20% will be highlighted. As we scroll to the right, we will also see the number of uh, hours of unutilized time. Uh, this is basically the time or the number of hours that the resource has been available, but not been used by any of the tasks. And this is also helpful to understand and identify underutilized resources so that you can better utilize them for other projects or even within the same project. So these are the six sheets which are automatically calculated reports and Gantt charts and schedules and all this fully automated for the in this template and also interactive. The three sheets which are data entry are very simple settings, list of tasks, actual work performed. That's it. So this is how simple it is to use this template. Uh, there are other videos where we will explain how to use this template step by step. So I want to come back and um, summarize the limitations and the requirements of this template. So limitations, it can manage only plan and manage one project at a time for 150 tasks and 30 resources. And maximum duration of the project can be one year. Only one resource can be assigned to each task and the dependent tasks can begin only the day after the predecessor task and the template can handle two predecessors per task. The requirements are Excel for Windows 2010 and above, 
Excel for Mac 2011 or above, those will be compatible with this template. Here is some additional information about this template that you may find useful. If you have any questions about this template, please leave them in the comments and I'll be very happy to respond. Thank you very much for watching this video.